Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to hit you with another travel related story time. If you want to hear about the time that I sat beside a racist on the airplane, then keep on watching. So let's go back to this past November. I had just moved out of Korea and I made a whole plan to travel for a month before going to Canada. So I was going from Korea to Thailand to Denmark to America. On my way from Busan, Korea to Thailand, I had to stop in Beijing, China. I sat beside the racist herself. So let me give you the background. I went to Thailand with my friend Brandon. The details are important in this story. He is a white American male. And we were expressing that we were very upset that Donald Trump won. This racist and sexist guy is the president of the United States. I was sitting beside this lady and her husband. She decides to rudely interrupt our conversation, looks Brandon, my friend, in the eye, only speaks to him and says, I woke up so happy when I found out that Donald Trump was president. Yo, this bitch is crazy. Like, this bitch is racist. But you know, I want to hear her out because I give people the benefit of the doubt and everyone is entitled to their own opinion. And, you know, I'm just here the bitch out. So I asked, why? Her son is an ex-veteran who is now addicted to drugs. Now, homegirl thinks that the reason why her son is addicted to drugs is because the Mexicans came and brought the hard drugs over the border. It's the Mexicans' fault that her son is on drugs. His drug addiction can't be because he's suffering from PTSD or because he's dealing with a freaking racist mother. I don't know. These are all just assumptions. <laughs> Who am I to tell? I don't know. And she goes on to say, not every Trump supporter is racist. She's not racist because she has mixed black grandchildren. And she loves them. Okay, girl. Okay. Anyways, I just put in my headphones after this and I continued my flight. So they're getting kicked off of airplanes for wearing friggin' hijabs and turbans and for speaking another language when people are actually making racist arguments and backing it up with friggin' bullshit points and are still being allowed to sit beside people like me. People who don't deserve it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Anyways, if you liked this story, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos by me, then please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I like white folks, but I don't like you. All the niggas in the hood want to find you. Guys, and it was so funny because I went to Thailand. I was in Koh Phi Phi Island. If you've been to Koh Phi Phi Island in southern Thailand, let me know. And we were at a beach party, and the DJ was kept repeating the song. Oh, 